All right, I want to deal a little bit um, about, you know, uh, value and shading and a little bit about line weight as well. Um, so I'm going to go back to that two-point perspective uh, uh, solid above the horizon line. So I think that's kind of a nifty example of how you could apply this, for instance. Um, remember we did like one thin wedgy triangle and one uh, wide triangle. And then we just project it upwards. Pick whatever point you want on that peak. down on both sides and remember draw through your form finish off by drawing from the back which you're not actually going to be able to see so one of the most basic ways of making things seem spatial is overlapping things. The next way is with linear perspective. Another way is atmospheric perspective, where the value changes. Um, and uh, one of the ways uh, that you can that you can do sort of a uh, almost an atmospheric perspective thing, uh, where contrast will bring things forward. Um, uh, you can also use uh, something similar. Uh, or, or kind of like existing in between all these types of perspectives uh, by just increasing line weight. So I know that this is the closest thing to me, right? These are for, this is one of the furthest back, this is the furthest back, uh, this is the second furthest, furthest um, or closest to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the line weight. I'm gonna make a big old line for this front. I'm gonna make a slightly less big line there, you know, an even smaller line there and I'm just going to keep that one line there. Now I can take these uh, these lines and kind of make the line weight recede as I go back in space to match the line weight that I picked. So we're going from thick lines to thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner, right? This would be easy with a marker. Right? So line weight is one way. And then you can actually uh, begin to use some, some value if you're ready with that. One of the most common ways to distribute value with pen and in pencil is uh, by cross hatching. A simple formulaic way to do it is to do about a 60 degree hatch. Um, and you can choose to, to hatch either uh, parallel and perpendicular with, um, uh, with your form or you can go off in a different direction. Um, and one of the ways you can do it is you can just say, well, uh, you know, my brightest plane is going to be white. My uh, second brightest is just going to be one set of lines and my third is going to be hatched lines, right? Um, and really you just need three values to create a to create a form. So let's say this is going to be the darkest, it's got the heaviest line weight anyway, so we're just going to actually do a 60 degree hatch and a 60 degree hatch here actually uh, winds up being parallel to each set of these lines, right? So here I might say this is going to be my brightest, uh, so I'm going to come down to uh, come down to the bottom here, and I'm just going to do one set of hatch marks along there. Bam! So now I've created an object with uh, a little bit of, of shading to it, a little bit of value, uh, just with some lines, and that's a real uh, simple, effective way to do it. Um, so you can you can either use one or both of these or none. It just depends on uh, on what you want to do with your drawing.